Okay, I uh, have been working on the lighting in here. It's a it's a friggin' disaster. I've been working on some scenery on the top level, which is crazy because you thought I forgot about it. I didn't. <laughs> uh, it bothers me because it's it's a lot of work, but uh, and it's taking uh, some steps backwards. So I uh, I basically last night there was a little bit of tackiness on one of the layers of this and there is even still a little bit of stickiness but there's actually like a little bit of gelled from the last pour and the reason is is that this table is sloped like this just slightly enough for it didn't go off the end so basically um, over here, there was m too much resin. So when you pour, it pours to the right, okay? And it's adjustable, but because it's in the corner and mounted on the wall, you're still always going to be sloping to the right because you're mounting from two locations. It's hard to explain, but it's hard also to get it level um, because it's also based on the foam that's underneath. So no matter what I do with leveling the table, I have an angle of foam just the way that I built my lake. So now I think I fixed it and I want you guys to tell me what you think. So basically it's cloudy a little bit on the top, but just the very last layer. And if I take some fine, really fine, like maybe thousand or 3000 grit sandpaper, like from auto body and I, and I scratch this off, I'll be able to actually power polish this resin and make it clear again because that's basically what's in here is there's scratches from grit because I have been applying grout, which is sand and play sand and black woodland scenic soot or whatever it's called on this wall because I'm trying to make it so that it has a kind of an exposed soil layer and this is a rock and this is a rock. I cast my rocks into place. I don't pop them on. Um, it makes more sense to me to do it this way. Anyway, so I have a carved rock here, sort of, and I have carved rocks here. So the plan was always, that's where the plaster is. This is where there'll be shrubs. This is where there'll be vines, where the uh, black powder is. And then down here, maybe less of it, where you see the tan. So I've got play sand on here. I've got... A little tiny bit of new growth, I guess. Just tiny bits of it. And that's because I've been staring at pictures of mountains and driving by them for a living. So that's what I do, driving in Highway 3 in BC every, every, uh, every month. So here I've got kind of an exposed kind of cut layer. This was just painted plaster before. And now I put some, you know, like kind of like a, a washout or a runoff um, erosion, basically. And uh, again, I think I nailed it. Tell me what you think. This, this here, uh, is kind of like a volcanic stone is the idea. Uh, this is the top soil. This is the, this is the, sorry, the black is the top soil. This sand would be the dirt on top of top soil. So basically erosion is top soil, your dirt running into your lake. So if you look at it, it looks like to me, the water has been running off this mountain and it actually carved it off. It wore the rock down so much that would have been here, like here's a rock and it just stops, but here's where it broke it into gravel, basically. It broke it up, and that's what water will do as it runs over. So this would be a good opportunity to put a waterfall, not just stick one on a green hillside. So um, basically, I've got little bits of green in here because, you know, there should be some plants. I have some glitter to make it so that it's sparkly in the sun. I've got, uh, you know, what is that? A lobster, rock lobster. I have, I have a squid that's not fully covered yet for some reason. And I can pull that pin out so that he was standing up straight when I get that high with the pour. And I've got a giant eel's arm or octopus's arm, not an eel. Jeez. And then I have lights in here that blink. So um, when I plug that in, you know, there's a 
there's a lot going on. There's uh, another little guy, a uh, little, well, a little, it's a giant bottle, message in a bottle. And then those are the mantas, and those are the uh, sharks and one orca slapping the one shark, like, stay away from my family, man, you know, Flipper or whatever his name is. And then this is a uh, blowfish. Now you see over here, I've got more scratches. So I don't know if that shows up on camera good enough, but I'm going to polish or get my mechanic uh, to polish in here. And then that way, what'll happen is this will be crystal clear. So you can compare this video to the next one. So this is me showing you how bad it is. And like I say, it looks bad, but you can actually see there's a beaver in there. There's another shark and here's a beaver building and they've got all that dirt and maybe there's some algae or I don't know some different kinds of broken down wood or something driftwood and this is their beaver dam and again I think I nailed it like I'm gonna go pro guys this is this is the rock cliff and this is the beaver dam with the soil on it don't soil yourself from looking at this and this is a this is a lake and it's got <laughs> sharks apparently and and then this is a level higher in half inch foam between the beaver dam eh? see what i did there and this has got kind of a a fresh um you know gravel slide like this is a newer growth lake than this one you know this one's only a million years old this one's two million and the beavers are the reason uh so you've got the rock here and you've got dirt i do have to put more because you can see the uh, plaster cloth but this will be covered in brown dirt next just in this section you won't see those green lines that's just where the paint ran and now it's getting covered up with dirt and it's completely brought up so this will be eroded away dirt like a kind of a not a cave but an overhang of a cave so we're gonna have some people swimming in there and then I need to go to the expandable foam store because I'm going to blow this shit up, you know? Sorry, guys, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do that in the same here. I'm really good with that foam now. It was better when you've bought stock in their company in cans and basically put it all over this thing and all over that thing. And then when it's all grown up, carve her down, and I'm actually the problem with this mountain is it's too small. It needs to be built out. So it's, uh, there's a better view for you. This is going to be part of the mountain. That's how we're going to hide it in plain sight. So we're going to actually have the mountain go like this and like so. And then this will be the side of the mountain or the underside, like over here. And that's why I like it so much because. The rock cliff is literally cut off the side as if a giant prehistoric lake carved it. Like the Grand Canyon or some other geographical feature, you know. So I still have to come back and put more trees up. I'm going to put some more here on the green area. I haven't done it. I have the trees made. I'm just lazy, I guess. And here, this is going to get carved better with a brush, a wire brush. I want really fine. And I'm probably going to turn this into a tunnel. I think the cut is the issue. So, boom, put a tunnel here, have it coming out. This is another tunnel. This is going to be changed to, this bridge is temporary, so is this one. These will be changed when these scenes are done to wood trestle. I always wanted one, and I always wanted a nice cavern, really detailed, not just a grass hill on both sides, you know, no offense. So, um, right here, you're not going to see this, so the scenery, that, Scenery doesn't matter right there, guys, because this is going to have another mountain right here. That's, well, no, let me back up. Let's zoom out more. There we go. Oh, God, it's a big mountain. Okay, so basically this unfinished scenery and this unfinished scenery, it's going to be a giant bastard of a mountain right there. Okay, so that's going to be how this scene gets fixed. And these look like the Kootenays or... Uh, you know, the Rockies, you know, and then over here, it looks more like uh, the Bitter Nose Mountains or I don't know what they're all called, but the other mountains that are not these big giant things. So you have both types because 
if you look at mountains, they actually go from a certain height and then they get bigger and then they get bigger and bigger and then they go down again. <laughs> so, um, all right, this is the update. Uh, I will, I will talk to you guys soon. I don't know if I showed you this, but take a good look because it ain't going to be looking like that much longer.